What is going on guys, it is me Skyman here, back again with another video. Hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe, staying inside during this weird time in human existence. Anyway, today we're going to be unboxing, taking a look and installing the Alphacool Eastrum 360mm water cooling kit. Now, I've always wanted to do it, so I thought, you know what, whilst we're off on quarantine, sod it, I'm going to order it and water cool my PC. Okay, so let's have a look what we get in the box. I'm just going to take everything out. Okay, so in this kit from Alphacool, we've got three meters of 1310mm tube. We've got the Nexus XT45 full copper rad, the nice pump and res config, um, the Alphacool block, the Alphacool coolant, um, a 80x jumper, 24 pin jumper and a three way fan splitter for the fans which is really nice. The fittings which are also really nice. Um, two lots of those fittings, we've got two 90 degrees and two uh, and six straight fittings. We've got the three Be Quiet fans, they're branded Alpha Cool but they're Be Quiet. Ooh, oh yeah, the quick disconnect which I probably won't be using because I think it's ugly. So we'll put that back in the box. Um, and then let me guess, more fittings. What? Why have we got so many fittings? Oh, these are really nice. Oh, these are really nice. Props to Alphacool for packaging them up so well. Oh, these are two 90 degree fittings. Uh, they're individually packaged. Okay, these are all the straight fittings that you get. For a minute, then I got sent extra, um, extra packaging. But so the actual pump block is actually really nice. Actually, looks quite smart. So I like that a lot. Some of you OG viewers might recognise this cooler. Now, yes, that is the Sidon 240M that I put in my very first sort of performance performance gaming PC back when I built my system with the 4770K. And it does an adequate job of keeping my 9900K at 4.8 gigahertz moderately cool. Now, my, when I put the system together, my radiator was in the top. Um, I moved it to the front and it actually made no difference to my GPU temperatures, but sliced 10 degrees off my processor. Now the reason I'm swapping this out is because I want to push for a slightly higher overclock and also where it is now I can't stretch it any further forward to run a pull config so it gets quite noisy in a push config. So yeah.
So there we have it then, guys. Um, I finally bit the bullet and uh, water-cooled my PC. Now, I know it's not fully water-cooled because the GPU isn't included in the loop, but there is plans, well, I do plan to add the GPU into the loop fairly soon, but I need to watch my finances before I can definitely get the go-ahead to do that. So I will say the Alpha Cool kit is great if you do plan on water-cooling your PC or want to do it, I definitely recommend doing it. It takes the whole worry of ordering the wrong parts out of the equation if you're planning to go with a single 360 mil rad. However, because this is an open loop, it is expandable. So when I do add the GPU block, I'll probably add another 360 mil radiator, but we'll see how that goes. It is a great kit. The quality is what you'd expect coming from a German company, and it performs as you'd expect. My old 240 mil closed loop, uh, my 9900K was hitting about 85 to 90 degrees whilst doing a render on a video like this, like you're watching now, but with this Alpha Cool 360 mil kit, it uh, doesn't go above 70 degrees, which is very, very good, and it definitely does its job. So yeah, that just about wraps up this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Don't forget to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. And whatever you may happen to be doing in the lockdown, whether you're working or whatever, make sure you stay safe. And I'd like to thank all of the key workers that are going above and beyond for us at this really weird time. So yes, thank you guys for watching again, and I will catch you in the next one.